Hello and welcome back. For today's project I'm starting by making the first part of my background using the turquoise green from the Hansai Tambi watercolor set. I stamped the first sentence for my project using the Somewhere in Time set. All I need to stamp is the word time, but I find it too big, so I'll be stamping it using the alphabetical set. To line up the letters, all you need is a straight corner and a piece of plastic. First thing you do is line up your piece of plastic into your corner, and then you stamp your letter onto the plastic. Then you can go and position your letter exactly where you want it. Place your corner against your piece of plastic again and when you remove your plastic you can go and stamp your letter and it will be right where you want it. For the next letters you just repeat the step and this way you can space them out and line them up exactly where you want them. I have drawn out a strip out of my background and I have a second piece of watercolor card where I have marked off the open space and I will be coloring it in using grey. This bird from the Tim Holtz uh, Thin Knit set will become a focal image. And the perfect set to match with this bird is the Learn to Fly Again set from Visible Image. I have masked off part of the stamp to get started with, and then later on I'll reposition my stamp to fill in the rest. Everything is glued together and it's time for some shading.
when you look at the craft stamp from the created set and you turn it around you can see that the shape is perfectly lined up with the wings of the bird and the body. I'll be using the wool bonding powder and some metal foil with this stamp. There's a little part of the stamp that I don't want to ink up, so I'm using my Versa marker. As you have to be fairly quick with this bonding powder, I have taped down my bird, so that way I have my two hands ready to heat up the powder and immediately lay down my metal foil. And then you just rub until it releases. <laughs> 